Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a beautiful sparkler overlay for your photographs and typography. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you all the brush settings that you're gonna need. We're using all default brushes for this. Everything you need comes with Photoshop. We're just gonna make a few little tweaks to the brushes and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do there. And then I'm gonna show you how to use the freeform pen tool to create work paths that you can use to create these overlays. Don't worry about uh, all of the stuff that people don't like about using the, the pen tool. This is gonna be an easier way to do that. I'm gonna show you how to mask your overlays to add dimensional effects to your photographs. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to create work paths using selection to create this nice shimmering sparkler effect on your text. First thing we're gonna do is work on the brushes that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna come over to the brush panel and what I'm working with here are these legacy brushes. These come with Photoshop. So if you don't have these legacy brushes installed yet, you can come over to the little hamburger menu here on the side and choose legacy brushes. You'll probably get a prompt or something to uh, asking if you wanna append your brushes, just say yes and these legacy brushes will be added to your brush panel here. We're working here with the default brushes. So when you come in here, the brush that we're mainly gonna use is the star brush because that brush, and let me find it here, uh, that star brush, so there's a few of them here. We're gonna start with this 70 pixel star brush. The reason this one is great for this is because it already has a lot of built-in glow to it. So it looks really nice as it is. You don't have to add a lot of effects to make this one look beautiful. Uh, and then we're also gonna work with these two brushes, the dune grass and the grass brush. We'll start with this. I've already made the brushes. I'm just quickly gonna go through the settings that I used. So I have this uh, sparkle brush and the dune, dune brushes I call the flicker brushes. I don't use these as much. If you want a real sparkler effect, you'll use those. If you just want a nice shimmering kind of whimsical effect, you can just use the sparkle brush at various sizes to get that nice glow. So anyhow, we're gonna start here with the sparkle brush and I just wanna show you the settings quickly for this. So we're gonna come over here to the settings for this brush. So let's start here. I have, now the size doesn't really matter because we're gonna be moving the sizing up and down here. Our angle is zero, roundness 73%, and our spacing is 100%. Go over to the shape dynamics. In shape dynamics, our size jitter is 9%. All of these will have pen pressure, by the way. Our minimum diameter, 12%. Angle jitter, 96%. Roundness jitter 20%. Our minimum roundness is 25%. We're gonna go over to scattering. Make sure both axes are checked. And we're bringing the scatter up to 238%. You can adjust these as you wish and whatever looks best for your preference. Um, this is just what I preferred when I created the brush. And you can definitely make adjustments to this to get something that you like better. For us, the count is gonna be eight. Count jitter, 48%, and then our controls are off for this. And then I just have smoothing enabled. And again, this is the brush that we're using. It's gonna be in our default brushes. It is the star 70 pixels. But again, you'll see here in a bit uh, how we're gonna be adjusting the size of it. But we'll go ahead and start with this 70. Okay, so let's take a look at the settings for this. Let's go back over to the settings. And we're gonna start with the brush tip shape. We're using this uh, shape right here, the dune grass. It's one blade of grass. And the size we have here is 125 pixels. Our angle is zero, roundness 21%, spacing 110%. And we'll go over to shape dynamics. In shape dynamics, our size jitter is all the way up to 100. Minimum diameter all the way up. Angle jitter is all the way up. Roundness is all the way up. The only thing that's uh, all the way down is gonna be the minimum roundness. You have pen pressure set here and your controls are off for roundness. 
make sure to check on flip x jitter and flip y jitter. Now we're going to go over to scattering. In scattering, we're going to check off both axes and we're going to scatter it 10%. Make sure pen pressure is checked off. The count is going to be 4. Count jitter 0 and the controls are off for that. Then we'll come over to dual brushes. Inside of dual brushes, we're going to add this brush right here. This is the just the regular uh, grass brush. Uh, our size is 339 pixels and I'm only using this to break up the, the, um, that grass shape. So I'm going to turn that off uh, so you can see, you know, if you want this stronger flicker, then you can uh, do something like this. You know, you don't need the dual brush, uh, but I, I kind of liked it to look more like sparks. So again, size 339, spacing 63%, our scatter is 100%, and our count is 8. So that is going to be the second brush that we're going to be using. And I've saved these two brushes here. If you don't want to go through the hassle of making all of these, I will have a download on my website and I'll put a link down below. So now that we have the brushes set, we're going to go ahead and I've added a layer here and we're going to go ahead and use this to add a sparkler overlay to this image right here. With that, we're going to come over to the pen tool and just hold it down so you can get this fly out menu here. And we're looking for this one, the freeform pen tool. So it'll have that little wavy line at the tip. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and just make that basic wave. And once you have this work path right here, we are going to come back up to the brushes and we're going to choose a brush. So let's come back over here and we're going to choose that sparkle brush. And I'm just going to use the color white. Okay, so we have this at 125 pixels. So this is going to be uh, fairly spread out on this. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. So uh, right here you can see I went up to 175, 175 pixels and this is all going to depend on the image that you're working with, how big you're going to want that. So I'm going to just kind of check it out. Okay, that, that works. So I'm going to go with that. Now that I have the brush set where I want it, I'm going to come back to the pen tool and I'm still in that freeform pen uh, setting and I can just come in here. I'm going to right click. Uh, so I'm not clicking uh, to make another node or do any of that. I'm just going to right click on it to get this menu and I'm going to choose stroke path. With stroke path, if you do not have brush here, you can come to the menu right here and choose brush. Make sure that simulate pressure is checked and click OK. Now uh, we've just added that uh, shimmer to this path right here. We're going to come back to the brush right here and we're going to bring down the size. So now I'm at 125 pixels and I'm just going to hit enter or return on the keyboard. Return on Mac and enter on the PC. And I'm going to come back over and do the same thing. Now I'm using my left right brackets uh, to control on my keyboard to control the size of the of the brush. So I'm just with my keyboard I'm bringing that down. So I'm, I brought it down to 90 and I'm going to hit return on my keyboard or enter again. On my keyboard I'm going to use that left bracket to bring it down to 70. Hit return again left bracket again, we're bringing it to 50, I'm going to hit return again, left bracket, I'm going to bring it this time down to 30 and I'm going to hit return at like three, four times to get that because I want it much more concentrated and darker toward the center. So now I'll bring it down to about 15 and I'm going to hit enter or return. So I hit it about 10 times right there. So I want it super, super concentrated uh, in that middle section. 
Okay, so now I'm going to come over to my work path and I don't see mine here on the side window. It's actually right here, but I'm going to show you how to get there. So if you come over to window and you go to paths, uh, that'll bring that right up for you just in case you don't see it over here. So I have this work path. Just click off of the path because I want to make it, you know, I want it to go away. I don't want to see it right now. So I'm just clicking off of the work path so I can come back in and do a mask. So I'm going to come in and I, I'm on my layer. This is my layer with my, with the um, little sparkle that I just made. I come in and add a layer mask to that. Click on the mask, make sure I'm on the mask itself. Uh, once I'm on the mask, I'm going to come over to the brushes and I'm just going to use a hard round brush. This is from default brushes as well. So just a regular hard round brush. And then I'm going to uh, come back into this mask, make sure I'm on the mask. And then I'm just going to make sure that these are black white. They should be. Uh, but if not, make sure that you reset that right here uh, to make these black and white. Now, remember, if you have uh, the black up here, it's going to erase. The white is going to add. So we're just trying to get rid of some of this. I'm going to bring up the size of my brush. And I'm just doing this quickly. You can go in real close and get it in uh, very detailed. Uh, but for this, I'm just, I just want to show you how this would work. So we have this going behind his head right here in front of them. And then I want this to look like it's going behind. So we're going to remove all of this. You can make these things as uh, big and as detailed as you'd like. You can change the colors, uh, you know, with each stroke. Each stroke can be different colors. There's so many things that you can do when creating something like this. So we'll go back to those uh, shapes. I'm going to double click here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, add a glow. Let's see, let's add an outer glow to this. We can change the color. So make it like a little more yellow, kind of, you know, like that sparkler look. Or we can go, we can play off the dress here and go more blue. So uh, with this text, I'm just going to press the control or command key on the keyboard. And then I'm going to click right here on the letter T and that's going to create a selection right here. So just by clicking here and holding the controller command key, we're going to have that selection. I'm going to come over to my paths and then I'm going to come down to this section right here and I'm going to choose this one right here, which is make selection or make a path from the selection. So I had a selection and I just turned it into a work path. So now that I have that, I can come back to my layers. I'm going to add a new layer. On this new layer, I'm going to come over to the pen tool. Actually, I need to set my brushes. So let's go ahead and do that first. So let's come over to the brushes. I'm going to use this flicker brush and I'm going to change the size uh, we can come back and it's going to be the exact same thing that we've already done, uh, layering and doing all of that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you a different way of um, actually selecting and creating a path other than using this uh, free form tool. Of course, you can use the regular pen as well, but we're just going to come back in here, select right here, right click, stroke the path, simulate pressure, use the brush, click OK. I'm going to change this to black because it's easier to see that way. So we're gonna, we're stroking that uh, path. Uh, let me go back up to my layer and I'm gonna choose a different, that other, uh, the sparkle brush. Come back over here to the layer and it is now 150 pixels. So that might be a little bit too big, but we'll go ahead and go with it. Uh, I'm gonna bring it down to about 80 hit the return or enter button again, bring it down to 60, do it again. So this is just about layering your strokes. 
and then I'm going to bring it to 30 and hit it again and then I'll bring it down to 10 that concentrated area okay so I just hit enter uh, so many times I don't even know and now we'll just click off and you can kind of see that you're getting that sparkler effect where it looks like it was moved you know where it's fading in and out in different areas and of course you can always come back to the layers and um, add a glow to it so we'll add that um, that color glow uh, E78800 is the color that we used for that and it looks like a sparkler effect. You can save this without the background. I can turn all of these off and turn my image back on and you can see how I now have words over my image. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And of course, visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Until next time, thanks for watching.